Hello and you're watching an SEO content machine tutorial video. Today we're going to talk just about the article creator. So it's the first tool on the left hand side here, create article. And this is where you're going to have a list of all your created tasks. And to get started, I'm going to click on the new article creator button. And this brings us into the article creator. So the first most important section is the keywords. Under that you have your country and your language selection and finally you can also name your task now when it comes to article keywords I'm just gonna delete this you'll notice that you have two options basically you can load it in as keyword if you use the pipe symbol you can also specify sub keywords you can have a maximum of five sub keywords you want to put each separate keyword on its own line However, some keywords, maybe you need to use a sub keyword so that you can get more content out of it. In that case, you use the pipe symbol. So I'm going to go back to my first primary keyword. We have our generate article settings. This is where we choose the type of article or content we want to create. By default, the article HTML template is selected for us. However, you'll see that there are other ones such as for GSA SER, Ranker X, Zeno poster, etc. If you need to create your own templates, you can click on this edit template link here and this will give you the opportunity of editing or creating new templates for yourself. Now underneath template selection is your article generation setting. So the first option you have here is the number of search results you want to scrape for each keyword. You can have up to 300 URLs. The more URLs that you choose, the longer the task is going to take. So your trade-off is how many URLs you want to download and how much content you need to create the number of articles that you're looking for. So as you can see, as I change this slider, you'll notice that this box at the bottom here, it's starting to change. So let's say we keep our search results to 10. We want our article to be 5 to 10 paragraphs and we only want one paragraph variation. So SEO Content Machine Next is estimating that be able to create around four articles. Each article is using 25% of all available possible content. And that's if you use the Create Unique setting. As I increase the number of search results, I'm going to have more content to use. So the estimated number of articles increases. Now if I jacked up the paragraph count all the way to 99 and kept the search results all the way down to 10, you notice it says not enough content. So we're only downloading 10 pages worth of content. However, we're trying to create an article with 99 paragraphs. And we're probably not gonna have enough content to get all 99 paragraphs. Therefore, we're getting this warning here. The task will still run, but most likely when you open your article, you're gonna get less than 99 paragraphs in there. So let's roll down the paragraph count to a more reasonable setting. Now for article output type, you can choose whether you want the spin text code to be in your article or you can choose to export it without any spin text code. A lot of the settings and features that you use in Article Creator is going to write out with your spin text in that. If you don't need it, and I know sometimes if you want to import data into another program that doesn't support spin text, you want to click on and select this option here. I'm going to leave it on by default. Now if you have existing articles on your hard drive and all you want to do is insert media and I mean specifically content inserts then this is where you would toggle that on and you would select the folder with all your articles on your hard drive. When you do this your article generation will be disabled so it's only going to insert content into existing articles and will not try to create new articles at all. You have the ability to use Article Forge for additional content. There is an article translator and of course you have your article rewriters. By default, if you don't have access to any paid spinners, and this is the list here, your soft spin is a free spinner provided to you. Going down we have our task settings. So our save location file, our generated articles is going to be your project folder you can change this to whatever you like however these are your default settings moving on to the next section you have your content inserts 
So in the left hand side here is a list of all the possible inserts that you are allowed to place into your article. So you have a very big list here. I'm not going to go over each one. However, what I will say is on the right hand side you have a help. So for most of all the inserts, if you click on this link here, it's going to take you to a video which goes into more depth as to what each of these inserts do. For just a quick example, I'm going to click on insert images and then I'm going to move on. So this is your custom content tab. If you want to insert your own custom content, then you would click on this button here and it gives you the ability to insert content into just the article body. Or you can choose to insert it anywhere in your article or if you want to create a footer or a header, you might want to select these two options here. Now your content you load in is through a file which you can edit by clicking on this button and of course you feel free to insert and use spin text or whatever you like. You can also customize the source of the titles used by the article generator. By default it's going to use both your Google and any custom titles. If you want to have very specific and relevant titles you can click on edit custom titles to generate titles. So I'm going to click on that just to give you a look at what it's the UI is for it. So here's custom titles and yes it does ship with a generator so we can generate our own titles and use that. We can customize our categories too and this is used mostly for those of us that want to later take our articles and post them online using the WordPress upload post tool. If you have existing content on your hard drive and you wish to use that content in addition to whatever SEO content machine finds online, this is the import local content section and this is where you can select folders on your hard drive that you want to import content to. Any content that you load through this section here will actually get translated and spun and filtered. Moving on to the next section we have the URL content filter. I can click on this and this is going to give us the ability to remove sentences using certain words, keep sentences using certain words and also there's a regex find and replace tool. At the moment, because I haven't run this tool, there is no cache content, so I don't get a live preview of uh, my filtering. Once again, uh, we have these URL filter, and just like when I discussed with the content inserts, the help section on the right hand side, you can click on these links to get further information on how to use these tools. Finally, another important area is inserting links. We have video tutorials on the right hand side, I'm going to click on add link here to add a link. We can choose how many links we want, the URLs and keywords. The next important thing is choosing what type of link we want to insert. So by default it's just going to insert a link and it's going to insert it randomly anywhere in your article. If you want it to be in context you might want to select the replace existing words. You can also insert links using images and that's this final option at the bottom. Now it's important also that we add some generic link text variations. There is no percentage counter in this tool. Instead, what it relies on is you knowing the number of keywords you place in here. So if it's going to be 10 keywords, and if you want 50% of your links to be generic, all you have to do is type in 10. I think it's a lot easier to use a number and to use a percentage in that case. This is the list of generic keywords. If you're using SEO Content Machine in another language, you can delete this and replace it with some tokens that are more applicable to your language. Once you're happy with all your settings, so I'm going to fill this out, example.com, keyword one, you can click on the run button. When your task has been saved, it appears in this list here. Now the status of your task is shown in this box. If you click on a task, it's going to open the task log window. So this window shows you step by step what the task is doing. If you have any errors, this is the first place to look to see what's happened. And information appears here and it's very good to look through to see what exactly SEO Content Machine is trying to do to create your article. Now that the task has finished and has the status of complete, we can also look over the log and see that it's written 10 articles for us and it's doing this by trying to create as many unique articles as possible. The paragraph usage shows you that 155 paragraphs worth of content was found 
and in each article it's using about 14 paragraphs and it's going through and using each paragraph only once in an article that way you don't get any duplication and it's wrapping around at the 10th article now if you want to see exactly what the content created was you can click on either this blue magnifying glass or this green folder the preview article button if you click on that takes you to the preview article tool so this is our first article that was created and this is the code on the left hand side the preview appears on the right hand side so this is our image that I selected to be inserted and this is of course my link I can click on next file to get the next file in the folder if I want to update the view of the article on the right hand side because you can see there's some spin text I just click on update preview and I'll get a new version of the article if at any time I like the version that's on the right hand side I can always click on the save button going back to our task finally there's a green folder button if I click on this it's going to navigate me to the location of the articles on my hard drive if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section in the area below this video. Otherwise, you can get in contact with me anytime. Email info at seocontentmachine.com